Here we go with overtime. It's sponsored by Credit One Bank. And you know how this works. Got the overtime line over on the back straightaway. If the caution comes out before the leader gets to the overtime line, we re-rack them and do it again. We can do it all night long if we need to. And the way this day has gone, that could very well happen. But if the leader gets to the overtime line and then the caution comes out, NASCAR will freeze the field. And as long as you can get back to the checkered flag, you will finish where you were when the field was frozen. Well, it all comes down to this. Ryan Reed chose the outside line. And nobody's formed up on the bottom at all. Something's wrong with the three car. Ty Dillon's off the pace, and that's jumbling up that inside line. He pulled out a line. That's older brother Austin pushing Ryan Reed to the lead. Ty Dillon out of fuel, we are being told. Oh, these two look good together, but are they getting too far out there? Casey Kane, Brad Keselowski. It's all going to come down how much these guys back in fourth and fifth can get formed because these guys are way out there. But if the second or the third, fourth, and the rest of the pack get formed up, they're going to be in big trouble. Now we see that 88 car all day long being really strong. He's going to get some help here from Brad Keselowski. And right behind him, Joey Gase in the fifth position. And the leaders are past the overtime line. Here they come back to the white flag. Casey Kane's got to run, Kevin. Kane down to the inside. Reed tries to block him. Two and a half miles to a victory at the World Center of Racing. And now we see the 22. He's on the 88's bumper, so they should have some momentum. It's just a matter of where it times out. Reed up the track to block Kane. Crossover from the 88, but he cannot pull off the pass. Oh, what down a, the back straightaway. What a great block by Reed. That was awesome driving there. Just barely squeezing in front of Kane. Watch Austin Dillon in that high lane. Look at the 52 of Joey Gase right in the mix, looking for his second career top five. The other came at Talladega. Off a of turn four, Kane looks inside. Reed protecting that double yellow line. Three wide as they come through the trioval behind him. Reed looking for the checkers. He's going to get it. Second career victory at Daytona. And they're crashing as they come across the start-finish line. It's over. Oh, my God! That is what... Woo! Woo! Yes! Oh, you guys. Oh, my God. We're going to celebrate. I'm going to burn this down to the ground. Well, you know, and this time he knew what it was like to win, and he wanted to come back and win for his team, and, and what a great win for those guys. And look at the guys that he bested. Casey Kane, Austin Dillon, Brad Kozlowski. The talk in the sport these days is just beat the best. And he did it with a couple of really great moves, you know, really great blocks to hold off the net up. So we will keep our eye on all of those that were a part of that accident. Well, guys, I got to tell you, it's another great day for Bakersfield. <laughs> Can't beat that. <laughs> Fellow Bakersfield, California there. The Chamber of Commerce is smiling right now. That's right. He said he was good. Now he's won twice at Daytona International Speedway. And you know this one feels so sweet. Kevin and I have both been fortunate enough to win here in Daytona, and there's just not a feeling quite like it. And now our post-race coverage brought to you by eBay Motors. Drivers in this one. And Ryan Reed had a bunch of them behind him as we went to overtime. Involved in our first accident of the day, the kid from Bakersfield didn't give up. And now he is holding the checkered flag.